so we have completed um, uh, putting grass on top of the uh, of the beds as you can see uh, the other side we are done so the next thing that we now do is to treat for cutworms and fungal diseases this is what we are now this is what we are now doing so um, we want to just get ourselves ready so that we uh, we prepare our chemicals so we are mixing a fungicide and an insecticide so this is what we are this is what we are doing okay so we are mixing our fungicide we are mixing our fungicide so after we are done and then we'll put some water so we have put the fungicide and the next thing that we'll do now is to put the insecticide oh, it's open, eh? okay so then now we are putting the insecticide also so we mix our chemicals in a drum So then afterwards, um, we now have to uh, add water. Okay. So this is the pipe. The water is coming from the stream. So we, we now want to put water in the drum so like we have explained it's always important to ensure uh, that the nursery is well protected because remember every seed that you plant is an onion so if you lose out a single seed it means literally you are losing out on you are losing out on on your harvest the rainy season that we had was um, uh, quite a tough one it had the good and also the bad, the good is that we were able to get uh, adequate water. Yeah, but the bad is that much of the crop that we planted didn't do so well, except of course for the maize. So, and so the maize that you are seeing here, this maize that you are seeing, um, which is here going all the way uh, up to that tree there, we planted it uh, during the last part of the rainy season. And of course, we've continued, you know, watering it. So those are some of the challenges that come with um, uh, with uh, the rainy season, the good and the bad. Uh, fruits and vegetables normally struggle, yeah. But you find that um, other crops um, are able to do well, uh, you know, like maize, as you're able to see our maize, uh, which will be getting ready by end of our next month. So the plan is that when we remove the when we remove the, uh, the fresh maize which we have, um, then we put the onion uh, in these uh, uh, in these uh, beds that we already made. Yeah, we still have a few onions still remaining in there, so we just remove everything and then put back the onions. So we are now getting ready to to um, put water in our drum. So this drum has uh, a mixture of cypermethrin. And then it also has uh, a fungicide as well. Okay. Okay, so uh, the water has started coming out. So this is what we have. So we are, we are putting water and ensuring to mix thoroughly the chemicals which we have in there. This is the water that is coming from the stream. And we are using a 7 horsepower pump. Okay. And so we are mixing, mixing thoroughly the, the chemicals. So we are mixing the chemicals thoroughly. Uh, both the fungicide and the insecticide being mixed thoroughly. So that there is that even combination. 
So this is what we have. So we are mixing the we are mixing the the fungicide and the insecticide in the drum. If you fail to do this, you will find that your your field will be badly affected. Uh, you know, with the uh, fungal and the post insect infestation. So this is what we are currently doing. We are nicely, nicely mixing our combo. <coughs> okay, so we are done. Yeah, so 7 horsepower is quite a very powerful system. Quite a very powerful system. Yeah. So our, um, our mixture is done. Our mixture is done in the drum. So the next thing that we do is that we use, um, yeah, it's a farm-made kind of uh, <laughs> watering cane. Yeah, it's a farm-made watering cane. So we'll now be getting from here, and then we are now basically just pouring on top of the grass that we have made. So this is what we are now doing. Okay, so we have made our chemical now we are pouring the chemical on top of the grass yeah, remember this grass also comes with its own issues because yeah, you find that the grass um, also comes with some diseases some insects so you need to make sure that you you thoroughly also treat you thoroughly treat your your grass and that's the reason why we make sure to uh, first put the grass on top and then thereafter, we we start the process. Okay, so this is what we are currently doing now. Okay, so we are treating our. Oops, yeah, that one is old. Yeah, so this is what we are. This is what we are currently doing. We can start with this one up. Okay, so we are getting the chemical. Okay. okay, and then we are we are pouring on top of the grass like that. So this way, it means that we are adequately treating our our soils and removing any insects uh, that can that can come uh, with um, uh, with uh, the grass that we are using. So thanks for joining us on this session on disease. Uh, and pest uh, management on the onion uh, nursery. So please subscribe and share with other farmers so that together we can keep learning and ensure that we do things right. Thank you so much.